your president, Biden, is about to make you the taxpayer pay for other people's student loan. What? Well, I'll be God. I say just about anything. Hello, everyone. Hello. Thank y'all for stopping by to see Say and Faye today. <laughs> Your so-called president, Biden, knows I said, yo, president, because <clears throat> I didn't put him there. I didn't vote for him. He is giving student loan forgiveness, and he's giving money, y'all, to pay off some of y'all student loan. Not all of it, because some of y'all got over $100,000, $200,000 in student loan debt. Now, let me be nice just for a minute here, y'all. Let me try to be nice. I understand people need help. I understand about student loans. <clears throat> That's the devil, y'all. You don't want me talking about it. I can understand it, y'all. I truly can. But do you think it's fair to people who haven't been to school, the taxpayers, the middle class, even the poor people, some of them work. Do you think it's fair for us to pay for your education? Do you think so? Then if you do, then something is wrong with you. I understand people are struggling in this day and time because Biden has made the economy even worse. Worse ever of all times here in America. Ever. But now they want to put more pressure on the American people? Y'all took those loans out. Y'all decided to go to school. Y'all decided you wanted to be a doctor, lawyer, teacher. Y'all decided that. So we got to pay for your schooling because you can't. Because you in so much debt. Because you wanted a career that some of y'all not even doing. A lot of people go to college, y'all. They go to college. You know what, though? And they don't even do what they went to college for. They have this degree, and they're not doing engineering. They're not doing engineering. Marketing. They're not doing marketing. They're not doing nothing that pertains to their degree. Because they can't find a job in their field. You got to choose something. A job. Something that's in high demand. Okay? Not these little crazy jobs. Oh, I want to be a newscaster. I want to be a broadcaster. I want to help the poor. I want to be a counselor. I want to do this. I want to do that. And then a lot of them ain't even doing it, like I said. But before I continue on, y'all, this pisses me off. Don't get me wrong. I want people, you know, to pay off their loans. I feel bad for some people. But I feel bad for the American people already. Because we already taxed to death. School tax, y'all. Medicare tax. Social Security tax. Federal tax, road tax, food tax, 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 tax. You can't live without it. Property tax. You don't think that's enough? You don't? Move right along here. Make sure y'all, you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Do that for Sam Faye, okay? Because that helps me out in the algorithm. Make sure you like the video. Okay? In your comment. I want to know your true feelings on this subject right here. Because it pisses me off. It really does. And make sure you go to TimberLilyCreations.com. I have products over there if you want to support my channel. Go on over there, okay? And help me out, all right? You can also support my channel, like I said, by making sure that you watch the entire video. That helps me out, y'all. It really does. 
and go to cookingwithsandrafay.com. I have a new cooking video over there. Go on over there, because some of y'all know you can't cook and you need to learn how to cook and send your friends and family and whoever else over there that can't cook or someone who just love to cook. All right, moving right along. <clears throat> I know I'm going to piss the trolls off. I believe in helping people, y'all. I do. I believe in helping people. Don't think I'm just so hard, you know, core. Oh, she wrong for that. People need help these days. Right. People do need help these days. What about the veterans? What about the seniors? What about them? Other struggling people. Is the government going to give them extra money? In this struggling economy? Are they going to give you extra money? No. Biden is trying to just make sure that he do good on his promise to the student loan that he campaigned on. You know, you should feel some kind of way. Let me read this. Pay close attention, y'all. Pay close attention to every word that I say today. Watch the whole video. Don't be skipping. Don't be doing that to me. Okay, here. I don't know what that symbol is. Maybe it's CNBC, CBS News. I don't know. But look, look right here. It said Biden to counsel up to ten k, ten thousand dollars in federal student loan debt for certain borrowers, and up to twenty thousand for Pell Grant recipients. The administration will also extend the pause on federal student loan payments through December the thirty first. Now, I agree with the pause, okay? Can you just pause it forever? Can you? Instead of taking taxpayers' money to pay for this, huh? Can you just pause it forever? I think it's going to be over $300,000, $300 billion or something like that. I don't know what to do this for the student loans. I'm not sure. Y'all let me know down in the comment section. But also here from the Washington Post. Now, everybody ain't agreeing with this, Okay. Especially you working people, you know, you taxpayer, people who paid in the tax like I did, okay? I may not be working now, but I did pay in the taxes. And I do have to pay taxes sometime on income tax, according to how much I make, you know, on my little side stuff, you know. And here, from the Washington Post, it says, Biden's student loan announcement is a regressive, expensive mistake. They call it a mistake. It's a mistake because you, the taxpayer, are going to be suffering. You, 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 you. But do you think Biden care that it's a mistake? No, he don't care. He doesn't care. I want to know, does the president pay taxes, y'all? Do they pay taxes? I don't know. Let me know. Somebody research that and let me know down in the comment section. They don't care, though, y'all. They don't care a lot of these people because they can afford to pay the taxes. But I'm talking about the middle class and the low class people, right? Okay, y'all can't afford that, okay? You're not going to afford it. Some of y'all going to be losing your houses, cars, and everything else. And we know all about the food prices. Also here from Fort Worth Star Telegram. Sorry, sorry, sorry workers, suckers who paid off college loans. Biden's making you pay other people's debt. Other people, you done paid off your loan because you are a responsible person. You knew how to budget. You already knew going into this how much it was going to cost. Maybe you worked an extra job while you was in college. Or maybe your parents helped pay for you. Okay. But even so, you paid off your loan. I had to loan. I had to pay it off too. You know. You paid off your loan, you work, you didn't depend on nobody, like some of these people sitting on the government system system forever, even though they working, they still getting food stamps and other other government stuff. They gonna sit there forever. But you are a responsible, productive United States of America citizen. Ain't that right, Twinkie? He in the background, y'all. I guess he want me to shut up. Okay. He's quiet. All right. The Biden administration student loan debt plan. Here's the plan, Ralph. Here's the plan, okay? 
here is the plan. I don't know if you got kids or grandkids or anybody going to college. You know, this may help them. It just might. I don't know. You know, I ain't mad. I ain't mad. I'm not mad. I'm just, the only thing I'm mad about is the taxpayers have to pay for this. That's what I'm mad about. That's what I'm mad about, okay? Robbing Peter to pay Paul. This always happened, y'all. Robbing Peter to pay Paul. That's what our government does, okay? Paul won't get up off his tail, and Peter got to always help him. Always. It says here, the Biden administration student loan debt plan. Forgiving debt. 20000 if you went to college on a Pell Grant. That's how much you're going to get for your student loan. They're going to help you with 10000 if you didn't receive a Pell Grant. Forgiveness only applies to those earning less than $125,000. Student loan pause extended one final time. They're giving y'all this final time, y'all. Paul, so you better get you a better job, a side job, a side hustle, part-time job or something. Because they're giving you until December the 31st, 2022. And then you're going to have to start paying on your student loan again. Payments based on income. If you have undergraduate loans, you can cap repayment at a 5% of your monthly income. It said $125. This only applies to people earning less than $125,000. So you people wait, making way more because you're ambitious and you love to make money. And you're not going to sit around and cry about what you ain't got. How you can't get this and how you can't get that. And you know you got to survive. And you know you got to take care of your kids and your family. And you making way more than $125,000. This don't help you at all. It ain't going to help you, okay? But you don't care because you know what? You're not trying to live off the government. You don't want anything from the government. You want to show your family. You want to show your kids that, hey, this is the way you're supposed to live. You're supposed to live on your own without help. You got to budget your money, children. Look at your dad. Look at your mom. We are successful. We don't need the government to help us out. We're not going to be beggars all our life. We're not. We're not going to sit here and let you see us struggle. I know I'm, I'm, I'm ranting y'all because this pisses me off real bad. They doing all this. They doing all this. Paying all this money out. Going over to Ukraine. Still sending more money over there y'all. He done sent 7 billion more dollars over there to Ukraine. Now we got the student loan. Now they're going to even send our military weapons over there because they ain't got enough weapons. They done already gave them a whole lot of weapons. Now they want to send our military stuff. Our military weapons over there. Okay. What's going to happen if a war break out over here? We ain't going to have enough weapons. They don't care, y'all. They don't care about strong military. The Democrats don't. They don't care about that. They don't want you to have guns anyway. Look at this right here. I saw this and I was upset. Because I love me a good potato. I love baked potato. I love french fries. I love potato casserole. I love all kinds of potatoes, y'all. I'm a potato nut. Here from CityLive.com. There's a potato shortage. 2022, Spurs, Spurs, rationing, and price spikes, y'all. Farmers. Don't you think the farmers need some money? Why Biden ain't trying to help the farmers? Instead of giving it all to the student loans. People who put them on selves in debt. People who put themselves, their self in debt. Why we can't help the farmers? Why we can't help the small businesses? Why you don't give some money to them? We about to run out of potatoes, y'all. Potatoes. Who ever heard of such a thing? It says here from New Star, time for a new side dish. Potato shortage could mean higher prices at the stores and the restaurants. High prices. Can you imagine French fries going up? It says here also, don't be surprised.
surprised if the price of your next order of french fries is a little higher. Not a little higher, a lot higher. Have you seen the prices inside of the restaurant? Even fast food. Have you seen the prices? Are y'all happy with that? Can y'all take your kids to McDonald's? Can you? Burger King. Can you imagine the price if you got five kids? You're probably going to spend almost $50. Unseasonally warm weather across the country has contributed to a decline in the potato production. And local consumers may soon be feeling the effect of it. Monroe Produce Wholesale Robertson's Produce announced in a Facebook post on Sunday they are anticipating their most challenging potato supply week they have ever seen thus far. They ain't lying about it, y'all. I went into the store last week because I love potatoes. I couldn't find any, any big bacon russet potatoes, y'all. They have a problem in Idaho. They can't get the fertilizers because it's expensive. They can't get what they need, pesticide. Even though a lot of people want organic. It's hard to find that too. But they want to blame it on the weather. They blame everything on the weather, see y'all. The weather. The weather caused this. So you trying to tell me we've been having bad weather in the past? Years ago? This not the first time we've been having bad weather? It's not. Why are they lying? So you trying to tell me the farmers of today don't know how to grow potatoes in bad weather? They lying. Whew. People ain't happy with this. They ain't happy with this. They not happy with the student loan stuff. They tired of it. They sick of government. We want this man to come back. Man, we need you to come back here. Oh, we need to get someone in there. In November, the Republicans need to rule the House, the Senate, the House, everything. In November, y'all need to get your tails out there and vote. I don't care what happened the last time. Get your tail out there and vote. Get on out there. Stop being lazy. Yeah, I said it. People went to Twitter. Some people praising it. A lot of people not. This lady right here, Ultra Nuclear Sky, she replying to Joe Biden because he tweeted how he was helping the people with the student loan. He's just so happy, y'all. He's so happy. She said, you are just transferring their debt to us taxpayers. Save people who took out loans and paid them back. You transferring it to us, the people. Like that's a good thing. I know a lot of people going to be mad at me. Probably some people in my family, but that's okay. Okay, you don't understand. A lot of people don't understand economics, okay? What they doing here is going to cost you. Ain't that right, thing? It's going to cost you. It's going to cost your children. It's going to cost your family. It's going to cost your livelihood. It's going to... Coach you everything. The mega, whoever they are, I pay my student loans, but drowning in my car debt. Can I apply the ten thousand dollars to my car loan? Since I have a mortgage as well, do I qualify for another ten thousand dollars? Now I know this person being sarcastic, and that's okay. I mean, people are drowning in other debt. So you're going to only help the students? You're not going to help the other people that's drowning in debt? Okay. Yes, they decided to get the car. Yes, they decided. Just like the students, they decided to get the student loan. They decided to do that. So you're going to help out people, you know, students and stuff like that. Then you need to help out the other people too if you're going to be doing that. Okay. Since the tax is going to be going up anyway, you're going to make the taxpayers pay for it. Go ahead and help the other people too. All right. <laughs> and we got some people who are praising Biden for this. Maybe they got a little money. Maybe they don't care. Okay. Maybe they don't care about the prices going up. Maybe they don't. They don't care about you, the little people. They don't care. They don't care that it's going to affect you and your family. A lot of people think it's not going to affect them. They do. 
Oh, it's just a little tax. Oh, really? You think so? Do you think so? Here, somebody mixing 4L. You're the greatest, I mean the greatest president we've ever had. Ever. That's what this dude said. He's black. I can tell. He's got on a football. I don't know if he played football or not. You are the greatest, Joe Biden. You are the greatest president we have ever, ever, ever had. Now, I don't know if he's being sarcastic, too. Maybe he is. I don't know. But if he thinks so, he must be nothing. I don't think he should be playing football. He's number nine, y'all. He's number nine. Tell me who number nine is, if y'all know. He crazy. Kara, whoever her name is. The relief. This is the relief that millions of Americans need. Thank you for doing this, Biden. Thank you so very much, Biden. We need relief. Do you know how many people need relief, huh? Do you know how many people need to empty our bowels? Do you know how many? We need relief too, y'all. Can I have some money to help me with my electricity bill? I don't qualify. Can I get some money to help me pay for this high, high apartment that I live in? I'm struggling. Can I get some more money? They don't give you no more money. They ain't stood you. Also from Katie Hart. So when will the people that work hard to either save and pay for college themselves or pay back their loans get reimbursed? Yeah, that's what I thought. They're not going to reimburse you. You're not going to be reimbursed. You've already paid off your student loan. Because you were a responsible adult. Okay. You knew not to get a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, three hundred thousand dollars. Student loan. I know people want to be doctors and lawyers and surgeons and stuff like that. That kind of stuff costs. If you ain't prepared for that, okay, if you know you ain't gonna be able to pay off your loan because you think you're gonna become a doctor, lawyer. Some of these doctors and lawyers, y'all, they not paying off their loans. They not. Let me get out of here. I don't spend too much time on this. <coughs> <coughs> I call this enabling. It is. It's enabling. People going to go out there and get loans. And, you know, student loans. Oh, heck, Biden, he's giving $10,000 towards student loan. Twenty if it's a Pell Grant. $20,000 enabling people. They gonna do better. As long as the government's helping them, they're not gonna do better. Just like the people on welfare and food stamps, they refuse to do better. They not gonna do better, they just gonna sit there. Sit there and stay on the system. They not gonna even get a better job. They're being enabled by our government. They don't wanna do better because if they do, they gonna lose their government benefits. How many times have I said that? How many of y'all refuse to get a better job? Do better for yourself. Let your kids see that you are successful. How many people want to get off the system? It sure the heck ain't many. I can tell you that. All right. Tweak is that time to go. Oh, Lord. And on that note, y'all. On that note, make sure that you come back to San Fe Unscripted. <laughs>